All right. So we're going to start Monkey Island 2. I've never played through this before. It's, uh, for some reason, I played 1 and 3, and 2 completely slipped by me growing up. So uh, I'm excited to try this. But yeah. Well, well, well. Guy Brush Threepwood, you do turn up in the strangest places. Uh, hi, Elaine. Uh, do you think you can help me out? How did you get into this mess? <laughs> it's kind of a long story. Oh, that's okay. I've got time. Uh, well, it all started on Scab Island. Some of my admiring fans had pressured me into telling my LeChuck evaporating story once again. Get out of here. It's kind of nice that they front load the credits. And yeah, I'm not sure why they went with that sound. That's just weird. But. Deep in the Caribbean, Scab Island. So I bust into the church and say, Now you're in for it, you bilious bag of barnacle bait. And then LeChuck cries, Guybrush, have mercy! I can't take it anymore! I think I know how he must have felt. <laughs> <laughs> If I hear this story one more time, I'm gonna be crying myself. Don't you have any new stories? Well, actually, that's why I'm here on Scab Island. I'm on a whole new adventure. Growing a mustache? No. Bigger than that. A beard? No, I'm in search of treasure. The biggest treasure of them all treasure so valuable and so well hidden that it haunts the dreams of every pirate on the seas. You mean... Big whoop? None other. Then why'd you come here? There's no treasure on Scab Island. Well, I didn't know that before. Now I'm trying to charter a ship and look someplace else. When I return, I'll have riches galore and a whole new story. Die trying. Either way, we won't have to hear about that chuck anymore. Ha! Those guys wouldn't know a good story even if they paid 50 bucks for it. <laughs> when I find Big Whoop, I'll become a legend among pirates for generations to come. I can 
can only charter a ship and get off this stinking island. I absolutely appreciate the continued uh, jokes about their price tag. to wood tick no treasure hunting zone where do you think you're going fancy pants you ain't from these parts are you this is a toll bridge you gotta pay so this is the ultimate talkie edition it takes the spoken voice from the special edition and marries it with the original game files from the original release. So, the original music, original looks, everything, original script, but it's got the voice with it. I think it's honestly the best option between the two. I don't pay for nothing. I'm a pirate. Tough guy, huh? <laughs> Please! <laughs> Scream as loud as you want! There's no police on Scab Island! <laughs> then who eats the donuts and roughs up the transients? I roughs up what needs roughing up on this island! Hey! Yo, loaded! This is my lucky night! Remember, wherever you go, on sea or on land, you can't ever hide from Lago Ligre! Tough town. I guess I should have got those traveler's checks. Problem with that Largo guy. He really goes against my grain. I'd like to make an end table out of him, but I don't have the guts. With all my tools, I'm still unable to create the one thing that could do this island some good. Like an old tattoo parlor? No, like a voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. Oh. Nice apron. Are you some sort of chef? No, I'm a woodsmith, which gives one of us an excuse for dressing. Woodsmith. Time. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A woodchuck could chuck no amount of wood since a woodchuck can't chuck wood. But if a woodchuck could chuck and woodchuck some amount of wood, what amount of wood would a woodchuck chuck? Even if a woodchuck could chuck wood, and even if a woodchuck would chuck wood, should a woodchuck chuck wood? A woodchuck should chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood, as long as a woodchuck would chuck wood. Oh, shut up. I'd like to look around a bit. <laughs> sure thing. looking chair it's not for sale nice sturdy workbench everything's laid out just how I need it oh boy it's buzzsaw girl no one touches her but me it says woody it's a That's hammer me. there Else we can interact with a uh, peg leg what nice peg leg thanks i made it myself how 
pounds and pounds of nails. I need all of them. I have no idea what's going to be useful and what isn't yet, so I'm kind of just taking a look at my options here. I love that they have sound effects for him spitting into the glass and then wiping the glass. That's amazing. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? How's business? It's just terrible. No one ever comes down here anymore. Largo's got all my regular spoot. You know, I can mix any drink there is. Make anything you could name. I can't make the one thing that could really do this island some good. What's that? Alrighty, Bikora, thanks for stopping by. New doll of Largo Grand. You then. Uh oh. Give me my usual and put it in a real glass. Fork over the dough, or you'll be serving Bloody Marys for a week. From your nose. That's all I have. Well, you better have more tomorrow. We might have to move this dump to a new location. Like, say, the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Boy, you just gave him all your money? I don't want to talk about it. Largo's been here. It reads, Jojo, appearing nightly, no cover charge. I should have listened to my mother. I should have practiced. I should have listened to my mother. I should have practiced. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Want to see my scar? Depends. Is there a good story behind it? As a matter of fact, there is. It's a story of the ghost pirate LeChuck and his gruesome demise. Heard it. This is the one where he drinks too much root beer and burps so hard he explodes, right? Not exactly. Frankly, I don't care much for stories that promote moderation in drinking. <laughs> I do have a business to run, you know. Grog, please. Shaken, not stirred. Maybe you'd like a Shirley Temple instead. I'm old enough. Look at my beard. Ha! That's the oldest trick in the book. Tell you what, I'll let you have some near grog. Near grog. Doesn't have any alcohol in it. But it's just as nasty smelling and foul tasting as that stuff grown-ups drink. Right on. Oh, wait. What am I saying? I just sold the last of it to Kate. Sorry. Rats. Of course, if you have some ID. I must have left my ID in my other pants. You'll have to do better than that. No ID, no service. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Who is this Kate person? Ah, the courageous Captain Kate Capsize. Wow. Of steel, sharp as nails. Right, the name? She rents her ship out. Does some freelance pirating. Her only loyalty is to the highest bidder. Don't get on her bad side. Nice place you have here. Well... See ya. Hey, hired help only.
The Bloody Lip Bar and Grill. Hello. Nice map. Thanks. Uh, excuse me. Oh, uh, yes. Hi there. Can I help you? That's supposed to be Wally? Hi, I'm Guybrush Threefoot, LeChuck Busting Stud. Uh huh. Nice map. Thanks. Uh, excuse me. Yes? Hi, I'm Guybrush. Who are you? Wally. It is Wally. Wally B. Feed, at your service. Do you know anything about Big Whoop? Uh-oh, who sent you here? I should warn you, I'm heavily armed. I was sent by the IRS. Let me see your files. The who? You better not try for my files. All my research on Big Whoop is in there. Oh, really? Are you looking for Big Whoop, too? Well... I haven't really been able to find out much hard information. What do you know about it? I know I'm looking for it, and that's about it. You mean you never heard of the four men who buried it? No. Tell me all about it. Well, all anyone knows for sure is that there was a shipwreck. The merchant vessel Elaine went down in a terrible storm. Elaine? Only four crew members survived. They washed up on a remote deserted island. Some say its name was Inky Island, but I don't believe that. Please tell me that it doesn't end up on Monkey Island again. Why don't you believe it? Because there's no such island. Anyway, that's where they supposedly found Big Whoop. But what is Big Whoop? Whatever it was, it was so wonderful, or so horrible, that they never wanted anyone else to find it. So they took the map they made of the island and split it up among the four of them. And they all went their separate ways. Where are they now? Well, I don't even know their names. I'd go look them up at the Fat City Library. The Fat if City Library? This stupid Largo embargo. Of course, it could just be an old legend. But if I could just see the map of that island, I bet I could recognize the shape of the land and track it down myself. How's business? Terrible. No one needs any maps since no one can go anywhere thanks to Largo. Where's the governor's mansion? There is no governor on Scab. This is an anarchist cooperative of pirates, cutthroats, and other criminals. A haven for roughnecks and rebels like me. It's got a hive of scum and villainy. Is that bully Largo. I'm looking for some room and board. Well, I hear there's a new chef down at the Bloody Lip. And the Swamp Rot Inn has all the comforts of the sea. But I think Largo's booked the whole thing. You know anything about this Largo guy? He's just the local hood. Shakes down everybody in town. Nobody comes or goes from Scab because Largo makes them pay through the nose. Yeah, tell me about it. 
How can I get off this island as soon as possible? Good luck. <laughs> sailing embargo Lagos imposed on Scab, it's hard to get anywhere. Which doesn't help my business, let me tell you. Thanks for the lowdown. Anytime. What exactly do you do here? I'm a cartographer. You do open heart surgery? In here? <laughs> uh, no. I'm the map making sort of cartographer. Oh. What kind of maps do you make? Every kind a pirate could need. My eyes have seen the whole world, and there's not a part of it I haven't put down on paper. Maps are very, very important. That's true. Not to me. I don't travel. That's even better. With good maps, you can see the whole world without leaving your living room. You know, I could just sit and talk about maps all day. Hey, me too! Is that all you do? Make maps? Well, I do some restoration work too. I paste them together, recopy them, paint little cupids in the corners. <laughs> you know, artsy fartsy stuff. Maps are very, very important. Actually, I prefer to just stop and ask directions. That's what Magellan thought. <laughs> wow. Sorry, cartographer joke. Is longitude the sideways one, or is that latitude? I can never remember which is which. It's so cute when you lay people try to understand geography. I could try to explain it, but it would probably just go over your head. Wow. Mind if I just looked around? No, oh, no, be my guest. It's a pile of blank paper. Reminds me of a dollhouse I once had. I mean, my, um, sister once had. Guys are over on the original Monkey Island. Do we know you? I'm Guybrush. You tried to sell me the minutes of a PTA meeting in the last game, claiming it was a map. Map? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. No, really. Why did you wake us up, Gorbush? Your rat? Yes. We call him Munster Monster because of his insatiable passion for cheese. What happened to your leg? It happened during a performance. That's what we do for a living now. No. You see, after our circus failed, we started a pirate catering business on nearby Fat Island. The sacking lunch. It was quite lucrative. Why aren't you still doing that? The governor of the island made us an offer we, uh, <laughs> couldn't refuse. So, we sold him the business. Yeah? We sank the money into one of those newfangled glass bottom boats. We wanted to take passengers on sightseeing trips. And search for a place called Drinky Island in our spare time. Why did we ever want to get there? <laughs> Aside from the obvious reason, we had inside information that drinking was in fact the 
the resting place of the legendary treasure of Big Whoop. Big Whoop? Uh, did you find anything? Not exactly. You see, we got a bit of a raw deal on the boat. Seems the salesman didn't have any glass for the bottom. That was so gonna be Stan. Hole there. By the time we noticed, we were taking on water fast. We ended up stranded on a tiny desert island. When did we get to the performing part? We met a philosopher on the island, and he told us something which changed our lives. Or passers-by to tears with long stories. He told us that all the world is a stage and that we are merely players. So, we became performance artists. When he lost the leg, Frank was brilliantly showing the inseparability of the path man walks from the food chain. <laughs> the symbolism of the cheese was essential. You know, this leg is looking sort of dingy. Could you get some polish over at the woodsmiths and polish it for me? Give me money for polish. Okay. What are you guys doing up there? We're performing. Uh, that's right. Performing. In our current work, we portray man's response to global environmental issues of a changing world. How come you have to perform on that ledge? Ah, uh, to show the precarious nature of the situation. Eh, uh, so to speak. Right, right. You're overlooking the potential symbolism to be gained by your closeness to the earth. Uh, but. All right, you got us. We're really up here because. Well. We're afraid to come down. What? What's the word for it, Frank? It's the opposite of acrophobia. Something like orcaphobia. Sounds more like workaphobia to me. Say what you will, we're not coming down. See you later. We can scarcely contain our anticipation. Not responsible for lost buttons or hooks. Not responsible for stains left on clothing. What do you know about Largo Legrand? I don't know anything about cargo or contraband. I'm clean, <laughs> clean, clean! <laughs> Who are you? Sure, Sonny, I can get out, Stu. That's easy. I can also extract grog, spit, and swamp mud. That's because I'm mad, Marty. I'm mad about getting your clothes the cleanest they can be. I've got a laundry type question. Shoot. Would you be able to get out ketchup? Get out ketchup? What do you want me to do? Uh, nothing. I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. Hmm. I dropped it in my grog and it melted. 
dog welted it. Well, now that is a good excuse, but I can't give you your clothes without a claim ticket. Oops, I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. Okay, so if we can get a claim ticket, we can get some clothes from him. Probably play into some in the future. Why, hello there, Miyachi. How are you this evening? Oh, isn't that cute? Hmm, only one guest. Yes, but that dang Largo eats like 30. Nice. Excuse me, I'd like a room, please. Sorry, we only have one, and it's full. So it isn't that he booked the whole inn, it's that he... There's only one room. Hold it right there! That's a private room. No going up there. I'm doing alright. Doing alright. Got an alligator walk to rope. It's tied to the post. I bet if I cut the rope, the alligator will run away. I'll go chase it. Just a guess. Appears to be locked. Looks closed. Wrap Scallion Steam and Weenie Hut. Place order here. They're like a. Huh. Yeah, drive through. Peninsula Cemetery Swamp. Oh, I bet you if we go to the swamp, we'll find the voodoo lady. International House of Mojo. Creepy, but apparently seaworthy. Row two. That's cute. Command changed. Oh shit, he's on Dagobah. Aroma of voodoo captured in a delightful potpourri. Guy brush three wood. It's been a long time since you last came to see me. A 
How's business? Very good. Many hexes this week. Saved many people from the evil eye. Made many pieces of eight. Although Largo took most of them. Yeah, about that guy. Tell me about this Largo guy. He's a weak little man who bullies this whole island around. Most people are afraid of him because he was once LeChuck's right-hand man. Yeah, but LeChuck's history! I got rid of him myself! True evil can never be destroyed completely. You will see. Why don't you just put a curse on Largo? I've tried. My most powerful magic lies in voodoo dolls. But to make an effective doll, I need some items from Largo's person. And no one's brave enough to go get them for me. Okay, here we go. What kind of ingredients do you need for the doll? Are you willing to help me make one? Um, uh, maybe? To make it work, you need to bring me some personal artifacts of the victim. One from each of the four basic voodoo groups. <laughs> something of the thread. Something of the head. Something of the body. And something of the dead. Hey, that almost rhymes. For the thread, I need a piece of Largo's clothing. And a lock of hair will do for the head. Bring me a sample of fluid from his body and from his dead relatives. You must acquire some remnant of a corpse. Here, take the shopping list. Thanks. Now go. What did she say for the... Oh, okay. Great recipes from the International House of Mojo. Page 139. Aunt Helen's special voodoo doll mix. Something of the thread... Something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. Back again, Mr. Threepwood. Do I know you from somewhere? Ah, we often forget those who help us most. We do? <laughs> it was I who told you how to do away with the chuck. I told you where to find the voodoo anti-root and how to turn it into the powerful ghost-dissolving potion you needed. Oh, yeah, now I remember. I'd like to have my fortune read. I see a hard road for you, Guybrush. Things didn't get easy for you when you defeated the Chuck, did they? People only wanted more. You had to keep proving yourself over and over. The pressure kept mounting until you lost it all. Your fame, your fortune, the one you love. Okay, that's enough. Well, that's enough voodoo for me. Bye. So be it. Bottles, jar. I don't think so. Well, I know where I can get his body fluids. Assuming that something dead will be in the cemetery. Something of the thread is gonna be his clothes, and I'll have to get his ticket.
Hello? Hello, man. My name's Captain Dre. What can I do for you? I need to charter a ship. I can't charter you my ship because... A while ago, I lost my lucky sailing necklace. I called it my eye that has seen the world. I can't sail without it. No way, man. Besides, that mean and nasty guy Largo, he has an embargo on the island. No ships can sail in or out without his approval. There's no way he would let me leave. Navy dreads. Thanks, man. Tell me more about that necklace thing you lost. It happened some time ago. My navigator and I set sail for this legendary island. When we arrived, we were taken prisoner by cannibals. I escaped, man, but my navigator was not so lucky. All I found of him was one of his eyeballs, and I've kept it as a good luck job. Oh my god, it's the same freaking necklace from before, from the last game. Gee, I think I've met your friend. Unlikely. No, I sure did. I gotta run. Lots of treasure hunting to do. Okay, bye, man. Come again. There are no uh, locations inside the island. The Ricketts. No trespassing. Stan's Cozy Crypt. A place to spend eternity, not a fortune. It's locked shut with a big rusty lock. The Quagmires. No trespassing. Giggity. The Grouts. No trespassing. These spots reserved for our privileged future customers. Here lies Daredevil Jim McDowell. Hand of Snowman commanded Jean Louise. Not on land and not on water. Jean did whatever he did please until he kissed the gunner's daughter. <laughs> there once was a girl named Carrie who thought that she soon should marry. She went into town, flirted around. She didn't get wed, she got buried. Marco Largo Legrand. There we now go. Now sea or sand. The good news is he's dead. The bad news is he bred. Doesn't seem to open. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use. It. I'm gonna have to find a shovel. And then. Warning: Quarantine tomb. Inhabitants died of green tongue fever. Okay. Back to wood tick. Wait, hold on. Can I just steal the? Welcome to wood tick. No treadzer hunting zone. Oops. I think I broke the sign. Well, that was easy.
Why, hello there, Gaia. How are you doing this evening? Thrifty dig for the treasure hunter on a budget. Thrifty dig for the treasure hunter on a budget. Use devil on brave. This is creepy feeling. Yeah. What'd you have for dinner? Something tasty. I swear on my grandfather's grave, something weird is going on. Yeah, it kind of is. Oh no, I dropped my pencil. Didn't break the lid. Cool. Alright. You got that fancy Oh that sounds really good actually. Been using that fancy automatic bartender you got there. Okay. Discontinued? I want to touch it with my hands. Okay, so. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Grog, please. I don't need to see some you ID. Won't give for us that. Grog without an ID. In that case, I'll take my business elsewhere. Sorry, kid. I feel like if I get the mug from him, I can use that to collect the spit. I got discontinued. Wow. That is a damn shame. Let's see. Talk to him. <clears throat> Can I buy some wood polish? That's one piece of eight. Anything else? I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. So, like, you can't get CO2 for it anymore, or...? of eight for your trouble. Yo. Nice. Nice. It won't fit in my pocket. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. I can open it. Hmm. Nice. Like, it makes me wonder if I'm supposed to catch the, the rat in there, but I would need some cheese. Uh, 
After that, we have to turn it back in. Oh, shit. Like, they're recalling him then. Wow. Excuse me, I'd like a room, please. Sorry, we only have one, and it's full. I can't pick that up. Nope. Alligator? I could lose a finger doing that. Securely fastened. Yeah, and I can't select the knot itself. I haven't figured out what I'm supposed to do with the stick yet. I have a piece of eight. I've got one of the things I need. Hi, Wally. Who's there? <laughs> I can't see anything without my monocle. Would you mind if I just looked around? No, no, be my guest. If you see my monocle, let me know. Where is that thing? Oh, there it is. Thanks. pick up more paper. I've got enough. Oh. Apparently, it keeps taking it out so that we can pick it up again, so I don't think that's the... Pick it out. Gang, I've lost my monocle again. He's got the glass nice. that I need. No thanks. Excuse me. Yeah, boy. Nice no place you have. Well, see ya. So then, that means they're not even selling the pods for it then anymore. That's just unfortunate. That seemed like a really neat device. You know what, let's go see what the uh, pirates on the beach have to say. How the game started. Tell me about this Largo guy. 
A two-bit thug. He's nothing but a low-down weasel. So why don't you kick Largo off the island? Well, we would. But he was very close to LeChuck. But LeChuck's gone forever. I heard they never found his body. That's because I blew it into a thousand pieces. Oh, no. Not this story again. How's the pirate biz? Horrible. The sailing embargo has all of us pirates landlocked. We can't go about our business. Some of us tried pirating on land, but it just didn't feel right. What's this about an embargo? The Largo Embargo. Well, it's not really an embargo. It's a tax on ships coming or going. But it's a huge tax that no captain on this island can afford. Including Dredd. That fool Largo doesn't know when to stop. He can't take more from us than we have. He would try. Ever tell you about the time I kicked LeChuck's butt? Look, Guybrush, besides the fact that we'd all rather die than hear that story again, there's another reason you shouldn't go spreading that story around. Largo Legrand is back on Scab. He used to be LeChuck's right-hand man. You don't want to get Largo on your bad side. Any marshmallows left? Marshmallows? We don't have any marshmallows. <laughs> What's that bright fluffy thing on the end of your stick? It's the stuffing under my eye pads. We're just sterilizing it. We're pirates, Guybrush, not Girl Scouts. Do you guys know any piratey songs? Sure, Fink here knows a million. Go ahead, Fink. Sing that one about Scab Island. Oh, all right. He even taps his foot. Scab on a pirate, and if you listen to me gab, I'll tell you why I admire it. Oh, the people are too friendly, the weather's not the best. The lodging's too expensive, and Largo's quite a pest. But the thing I like about Scab is what it hasn't got. No mayor or police force, and no tale in which to Beautiful. Do you guys know any more piratey songs? Okay, here's one about a pirate, his parrot, and a tragic day. I mean, that's, yeah, that's going We're straight to the top. Polly the Squawker Page gets in Davy Jones' locker, are you? You know that one always makes me cry. Sorry, Bart. Well... I'll see you salty dogs later. That reminds me, do we have any weenies left? Hmm, this door appears to be locked. Knock? I can't move it. Looks closed. Go see Captain Dread again. See what he's got to say. A sign. I don't think I looked at the sign before. It says, and I quote, 
Captain Dread's ship charters. Twenty pieces of eight. Inquire within. Well, I got one. That is the worst walkway ever. It's me again. So I see. What can I do for you this time on? Why can't I charter your ship? Like I said before, man. I lost my lucky eye that has seen the world sailing necklace. Besides, Largo has an embargo on the island. Yep, I know. Sorry. All right. Is there anything I can interrupt? Nothing's. I gotta run. Lots of treasure hunting to do. Bye, man. Come again. All right. So, can't get anything there. Could have missed something in the graveyard, I guess. Or I could have missed something in the voodoo hut. Go talk to Miss Cleo again. Display model. Well, it appears to be bolted to the table. Hey, that's just a display model. I've got the real stuff back here. That's one of my most powerful potions. Brings the dead back to life. I'll take it. There are some complications. Oh, it shit. only works on ashes, and the resurrection is only temporary. Plus, you need to bring me a sample of the subject's ashes before I can mix you up a batch. Boy, voodoo's complicated. Rules are rules. Uh, about that jar I was looking at? I can't make you any of that potion without some ash from the subject's remains. That's enough voodoo for me. Bye. So be it. Okay, so that's the jars. Uh. Oh, Demojo. Oh, Demojo. The mystical aroma of voodoo captured in a delightful potpourri. No thanks. I don't need it. Voodoo's not known for its good smells. No, that stuff's way too technical for me. I don't think I'm qualified to handle them. And anyway, they're gross. So, I don't suppose... Back again, Mr. Threepwood? Yeah, see, that just takes me straight into a conversation well, that's with her. For me. So I can't Bye. interact with anything in the environment so in that neat. room. Okay. Something tells me we're going to resurrect LeChuck in this one. I just, I feel it.
I don't want to touch it with my hands. Okay, so I can get... <clears throat> as long as I have something to pick it up with, <clears throat> I can get the spit, and or I can get the swamp water. Go back to the old cemetery here and see... Stands casual crosses <laughs> for graves that don't need to dress up. Shit. I can't pick that up. Uh, I mean, I'll. I'm. Sure. It looks like it's been sealed shut. Stands cozy crypts, a place to spend eternity, not a fortune. locked shut with a big rusty lock. It looks like it's been sealed shut. Okay, well, let's see. Stick. Is for that polish. doesn't seem to work. No. I can't dig that, Daddy. That doesn't seem to work. That doesn't seem to work. Yeah. Hmm. Alright, so, seems like my options are in wood tick. So our goal right now is we're trying to create a voodoo doll of this guy named Largo Legrand who has placed an embargo on the island and isn't allowing any ships to come or go. Get away from there. It's not a toy. What do you think you're doing? I need all of them. What do you think you're doing? No one touches her but me. Oh no you don't. Everything's lit. It doesn't seem to open. Oh no you don't. Everything's laid out just how I need- That doesn't seem to work. Huh? that. I don't want to polish that. I don't want to polish that. Hmm. I don't want to polish that. <clears throat> yeah? I'd like to look around a bit. Thing. So I have no new dialogue options. Okay. I don't think it's my prescription. <laughs> prescription monocle. Oh my lord. I 
lost it while being keel hauled. Your dog got mauled? What does that have to do with a claim ticket? Oh, never mind. I've got a laundry type question. Shoot. Do you do alterations here? Alterations? You mean change the numbers on your food stamps? You got some nerve. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> what the fuck? Oops. I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. No ticket, no laundry. That wouldn't be wise. Well... Okay. out. I'm no cook. Excuse me. Don't bug me. I'm cooking. Ugh, it's all cans of fruit cocktail. Fire's out. It's a cold potato and leek soup. Hmm. That doesn't seem to work. Oh, I know. I can use the knife on the rope for the alligator. The okay. barkeep might see me. Somebody else. It's a bit on the tattered side. It's already open. It's empty. Pretty old. I'd better not touch them. It looks like somebody's trying to grow penicillin. Got his hair. Nice. Who let you into my room? I uh thought it was my room. Well, it ain't. So get the f out. <laughs> What are you doing in here again? Nice. 
place. I swear I put it right here. I can't reach it. I hope I didn't lose it. I've got enough. I'll never be able to afford a new one. Don't worry, dude. I'll give it back as soon as I figure out what I'm supposed to do with it. There's several things I can pick up here, but I don't know what to do. I don't want to polish that. I don't think it's my prescription. I don't think it's my prescription. No thanks. No thanks. It's blank. Everything looks all blurry. Thrifty dig for the treasure hunter on a budget. If only I could use this stuff on my lines. <laughs> Polish cute. Nice. I'm rich. Gross. Sharp. There's strange little white bugs all over. Ah, oh, gross. It doesn't seem to open. I don't think I should do that. I can put the bone in the stew. Oops. But, whatever. Whatever must be done in the name of villainy. That doesn't seem to work. That doesn't seem to work. not okay uh. there's no glass in the window it's too heavy it's too heavy That doesn't seem to work. No. Give stick to stove. Oh, sure didn't. Okay. I have a knife. What else does that change for?
Oh wait, there's a bucket. What is a bucket? It's just a bucket. Hey, leave that alone. Do you think you could let me have this bucket? No. Please? No. Pretty please? No. Pretty, pretty please? No. Pretty please with sugar on top? No. Pretty please with sugar in a cherry? No. Pretty please with sugar, nuts, and a cherry? No. Pretty please with sugar, nuts, a cherry, and chocolate sprinkles? No. I really need it. No. I really, really need it. <laughs> oh my god. No. How long will this go on? I really desperately need it. No. It's a matter of life and death. No. If you don't give it to me, I'll never speak to you again. No. I'll be your best friend. No. I'll be your best friend forever and ever. No. No. Oh, come on. Be a pal. Oh, all right. Wow! I honestly expected that to end in absolute bullshit. Wow. Okay, so we use the bucket, the spit dripping down the wall, and then we have the third ingredient. There isn't enough spit to put in the bucket. Oh, for fuck's sake. Can I use the toupee to wipe I it up? I don't think I should do that. No. Yeah, I'm utterly shocked that it gave me the thing after all that. Okay, use bucket with. I oh. hate fishy swaz. Oh, okay. Oops. I don't think that'll work. Go that on. doesn't seem to work. Use my. I don't ball. think it's my prescription. No. Uh, give. Nope. Yeah. Knife to cook. There's no glass in the window. I really thought that the bucket was going to let me get the spit. How am I supposed to work? What is that? I can't see a thing. All I want is my monocle. What is that? I can't see a thing. All I want is my monocle. What is that? I can't see a thing. All I want is my monocle. Yeah, I know, but I need your monocle and I don't know what for yet, so... I'm such a dope. Hi, Wally. Who's there? I can't see anything without my monocle. Would you mind if I just looked around? No, no, no be my guest. If you see my monocle, let me know. Can't I do anything right? Man, I can't wait until we get to the third game and y'all get to meet Murray.
wonder if I can just cut off some of the hair. Use knife with toupee. My scoutmaster would kill me if he saw me use a knife like that. Okay. Is he gone? Can I go back into his room? Oh, he is. Messy, messy, messy. I don't see anything special about it. Then again, I never really have understood art. You look pretty old. Pretty old. I can't pick that up. I can't pick that up. I'd better not touch them. It looks like somebody's trying to grow penicillin. Uh. Doesn't seem to open. Nice. You know, it's interesting because you can basically. Ha oh, I wonder if I'm supposed to wait for him to come back while I'm hidden, maybe? I don't like to get naked in other men's rooms. Well, sir. Stuck open. First. I can't move it. I can't move it. It doesn't seem to open. Largo could be back any minute. That's why I wondered if I was supposed to, like, hide here. So if I can't use the bucket, I bet you I could use the bucket to get swamp water, though. guest. Cheese squigglies. One of my favorites. Hey, cheese squigglies. Okay. Why won't he go in there? There's cheese in there now. Oh, you know what? I bet you if I open box, use stick with box. Hey, look, box is open now. And I'm not standing there.
Uh, nope. Okay. Box. Box. After that part. It's propped up by the twig. Okay, so still don't have... Oh, you know what? I bet you. No, because he took the rope. Let's go see if we can find the alligator again. Bet you the alligator would be in the swamp. What do you think? bucket. Wow, a whole bucket of mud. And it's mine, all mine. What does the bucket get me? Use knife with Bart. My scoutmaster would kill me if he saw me use a knife like that. Sturdy workbench. Everything's laid out just how I need it. I don't think that'll work. My scoutmaster would kill me if he saw me use a knife like that. I don't want to polish that. I don't think I should do that. That doesn't seem to work. Can't dig that, Daddy. Something of the thread. Nope, I didn't something want of the stuff. head. Something of the body. And something of the dead. Gross. out. I 
I hate fishy swaz. I don't think that'll work. Okay. I don't know that I need the cook for anything, but he won't, uh, he won't even talk. Excuse me. like... I'm trying to work. It's like, STFU, go away. I am gonna go get something to drink. I will be right back. Hmm, okay. Abby, there has to be something I'm missing. Doesn't have as he can't see it. I should be able to like. Oh shoot! I bet my mom would help me find it if she were alive. Poor guy. For crying out loud! Nice map. I like it too. I hope it didn't roll onto the floor. Nobody move! I can't believe somebody would steal it! Uh, I can. I'd go for help, but I'm afraid to walk around like this. Okay. So... Check with the chef. This bartender. Excuse me. Yeah, boy. Grog, please. I don't, don't need to see ID some card. ID for that. I must have left my ID in my other pants. You'll have to do better than that. No ID, no service. My scoutmaster would kill me if he saw me use a knife like that. It reads, Jojo. Appearing nightly. No cover charge. No thanks. Too many bad memories of piano lessons. Okay. I should have listened to my mother. I should have practiced. It doesn't seem to open. Better leave it there. Don't want to hurt business. 
the metronome get me? Anything? Uh, oh, yeah. okay. Well, that's how you get that. So, we need... We just need... That's sick. No thanks. I don't need that for anything. Yeah, neither do I. No thanks. Sharp. No thanks. No thanks. No thanks. No thanks. see a thing. All I want is my monocle. Yeah. I'm gonna Look. starve to death in here. I'm gonna oh, die okay. hungry, blind, and alone. <laughs> <laughs> Man, the game is really trying to make you Why feel me? guilty for taking it. Anyone? Rats. Okay. At Marty. What would I do with that? That's what I was afraid. What would I do with that? What would I do with that? Let's see. Use bucket of mud with laundry. I don't think that'll work. Oh. My scoutmaster would kill me if he saw me use a knife like that. my prescription. It's clearly meant to trap the rat, like I can see it, I just... Dig that, Daddy. Hey, guys. Hey. 
they're just done. They're like, they are sir not appearing in this film any longer. Not responsible for stains left on clothing. I don't need any more. Okay, so I have accomplished what I was supposed to with that item. My scoutmaster would kill me if he saw me use a knife like that. My scoutmaster would kill me if he saw me use a knife like that. I don't want to polish that. If only I could use this stuff on my lines. I don't think that'll work. I don't think that'll work. My scoutmaster would kill me if he saw me using the nice. Am I just supposed to wait? I am going to use my first hint. It doesn't seem to stay closed. I think I hear Largo coming. Hey, what the hell? What's going on? Whoever did this is gonna pay. I can't get this thing off my head. When I get this thing off my head, somebody's gonna be real sorry. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. He looked pretty steamed. You're making me mad, Marty! That's my name, don't wear it out. <laughs> Look, I want it free and I want it tonight. Ready tonight? Sure, I'll come. I'm talking about getting my laundry. Don't worry about me. I've been dry for three years. I said I need it back tonight. What? Yeah, we'll stay out all night. This is useless. You tell them I'll be back to pick it up. Or else. I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. It 
was stolen. Taking it bowling was a dumb thing to do. Oops, I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. So if I go back into his room after I see that, do I get the claim ticket? I'm done here. Okay, let's go check the other places. See if anything's changed there. Uh, let's start with Wally. Nope, nothing's changed. I feel like we're supposed to slip him something different there. what we're supposed to do with the Vichy Spa yet. <clears throat> yeah? I'd like to look around a bit. Still nothing. Sure thing. I mean, it's gotta be in his room, right? Like... Open? It doesn't seem to open. It I mean, doesn't seem to open. Uh... I'd better not touch them. Looks like somebody's trying to grow penicillin. Are they pulling a mist? Oh, of course they are. Are you... gonna not fall for that apparently I'll see what we have ready for Mr. Legrand I know it's here somewhere there's LeChuck's outfit there's Stan's outfit oh that's great Ah, here it comes. 
Instagram. What? Ah. Uh, Largo Legrand is a woman? How does that... How does that... Affect thing? bone do you have the final ingredient i have this pearly white bra yes that will work at last now i can make a voodoo doll to be reckoned with let me get my juju bag and now for the ingredients a dandruff flake from largo's head a single piece of largo's thread a drop of fluid from his body. A single chip off the bone of the dead. And finally, some miscellaneous voodoo herbs and seasonings, including monosodium glutamate. <laughs> this non organic food. voodoo potion. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we assassinate? <laughs> Lago, Lago, yeah. Yeah. Hey, that looks just like him. Thanks, Voodoo Lady. One more thing. Some of the ingredients were not the optimum specimens. It should still work, but it will have a limited range. You will have to get close to Lago. Very close. So I used the knife. Oh no, I used the pins on that when. Okay. in here you're invading my privacy what? 
Take that, you stumpy little dim-witted toad! What? Who do you think you are? I'm Guybrush Threefoot. People don't always recognize me. I carry this! I'm gonna tear you limb from limb! How are you doing that? Largo the Grand, you are a no-good, vicious, two-bit thug. I command you to give me back my money and leave this island. Ha! I already spent all your money. Oh. Well, I command you to leave this island. Just you try and make... Hey! 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 That'll teach you to mess with the slayer of the ghost pirate, LeChuck. What's that? You killed LeChuck? Yep. As a matter of fact, I did. Quite an interesting story, actually. The fortune teller said she did in LeChuck. She did, did she? Does she have one of these? Is that? Yes, LeChuck's beard. Still alive and wriggling. Let me see that. Oh, don't. Don't do that. Boy, it is a lie. We've been looking for a living piece of LeChuck for years. Shit. Now we can bring it back to life. Look out, world! The most fearsome pirate of all time will soon sail the seas again. Whoops. Good job. I'm afraid it's true, Guybrush. If they have any animated tissue, they can reanimate his whole body. But I blew his body into a zillion gooey pieces. Not his body, Guybrush. You destroyed his spirit form. His body was safely buried far away. But by now it must be... Rotten. Partially decomposed. Yes. And I don't think that's going to make him any more pleasant to deal with. He's going to be looking for me. Yes. He's going to try to kill me. Yeah. Undoubtedly. What can I do? You're already doing all that you can. What's that? <laughs> Hunting for Big Whoop. Oh, yeah, I was doing that, wasn't I? Big Whoop isn't just a treasure. It contains the secret to another world. Find that world, and you'll be able to escape LeChuck forever. But I know so little about Big Whoop. Take this book. Big Whoop. Unclaimed Bonanza or Myth? And where'd you get this? Oh, shit. I checked it out at the Fat City Library. I foresaw your need. Gee, thanks. I used your name when I checked it out, so be sure and return it when you're through reading. The overdue fines in Fat City are pretty steep. Gee, thanks. It's blank and kind of soggy. Big whoop. Unclaimed bonanza or myth? This is fascinating. It says here there were four pirates. Rapscallion, the cook. Young Lindy, the cabin boy. Mr. Rogers, the first mate. And Captain... Good heavens! Captain Marley! I wonder if there's any relation. They're absolutely... They bury their treasure along with plenty of... Uh-oh. Booby traps on a place believed to be called Inky Island. They made a map which they divided into four pieces, each man taking one. Raph Scallion later opened the Steam and Weenie Hut on Scab Island. Oh! It was a huge success, but fell into disrepair after Raph was killed in a flash fire. Oh. Young Lindy drifted aimlessly, down on his luck until he mysteriously came into money while panhandling on Booty Island. He used the cash to bankroll an advertising firm which failed after its gross mishandling of the gangrene and honey account. <laughs> Mr. Rogers retired off the coast of Fat Island. Mr. Rogers. He marketed homemade contest grog brewed in a bathtub until his recent disappearance. Captain Marley vanished while sailing in the America's Cup race. His boat was leaning at the time.
So I wonder if I can use the pins as like a lockpick on the weenie hut. go see if oh you know what there's a big rusty lock I okay I remember this part there was a big rusty lock in the cemetery so let's see if I can open that crypt Stan's cozy crypt a place to spend eternity not a fortune I don't think I should pin that Looks like it's been sealed shut. I want to open the crate. It's locked shut with a big rusty lock. It looks like it's been sealed shut. The that's the only one that he mentions a big rusty lock on. So how do I? I don't want to polish that. Dig that, Daddy. Okay. Now let's go see if I can use the spit. As like a proof of ID to get some grog, maybe? No thanks. Uh. No thanks. No thanks. Adulthood. No thanks. Excuse me. I can't concentrate with you talking to me. Hmm, okay. You know, with Largo gone, I bet you I can go talk to the pirate captain now. Because there's no embargo anymore. Now I just have to figure out what he needs to set sail. Probably gonna be money, I would guess. Again. So I see. What can I do for you this time on? Why can't I charter your ship? Like I said before, man. I lost my lucky eye that has seen the world sailing necklace. I... Oh, I don't know where that would be. Last time I saw that was on Monkey Island. I gotta run. Lots of treasure hunting to do. Okay. Bye, man. Come again. You 
know what? Could it be the monocle he's talking about? I love a house hey, with that Brid. monocle look. Hey, Brid. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing all right. Playing some Monkey Island. I love a house. You know, gamer things. I don't think it's my prescription. Would you like my monocle? Thanks, Mon. This will do just fine for me, Lucky City. All right. Got it. What can I do for you? I need to charter a ship. You're in luck, my friend. Rumor has it that Lago's been run off the island. So I'm oh, you're playing through shivers again. again. Only problem is, the Jew don't look like the type that has 20 pieces of it. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. I'm broke. A lot. It's me again. So I see. What can I do for you this time, on? I gotta run. Lots of treasure hunting to do. Okay. Bye, Mon. Come again. So, I have to earn 20 pieces of eight now. And I've only got one. Well. The only place even talked about working was, uh... Jeff. I wanna go check out the beach quick. Let's make sure that pins indoor. I don't think I should pin that. Sharp. My scoutmaster would kill me if he saw me use a knife like that. Looks closed. Wrap scallion steam and weenie hut. Um, Place order here. as in, like, how has this game improved over the first one? Or... Looks closed. Okay. So the uh the backgrounds in this are all hand drawn and scanned in. Which is interesting. This is the uh the ultimate talkie edition, which is a, a fan mod that combines original game. The original Monkey Island 2 from the DOS days with the voice lines from the special edition and you can take the files out of them and compile them together and it produces this. So it's kind of like the best of both worlds. You get the original graphics still and but you still get to hear it instead of just reading. The music system is uh, was completely redone for Monkey hey, Island 2. I told you, we don't have any marshmallows. And um, it's interesting because the original game, the original Monkey Island, got a re-release that had like CD audio, CD version of the game, and it used audio tracks. This version doesn't have that, and they have never digitized it. Uh, this only ever had, like, a single release prior to the special edition. And so far, the the story is much more concise. Um, the writing is just more on point. Um, it's been really cute. There's been some absolutely unexpected jokes that worked out. It's just good. It's been really good so far. Well, you guys can stop worrying about Largo. He's history. Oh, really? He must have finally got that nasty letter I wrote. <laughs> you sure can write a mean letter, Pink. Hey, 
any idea where I could hire a ship? You'll need to go to the far side of the island. And there, you'll meet a man named... Captain Red. Yikes. Sounds intimidating. Not really. Once you get to know him. Do you guys know any more piratey songs? Let me try one. bottles of beer. You take one down, pass it around. 99 bottles of beer on the wall. Oh, 99 bottles of beer on the wall. Wow. 99 bottles of beer. 42. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, 42 bottles of beer on the wall. 42 bottles of beer. You take one down, pass it around. 508. Five hundred and eight <laughs> bottles of beer on the wall. Five hundred and eight bottles of beer. You take one down, pass it around. Five hundred and seven bottles of beer on the wall. Whoa, five hundred and seven four. Four bottles of beer. You take one down, pass it around. Three bottles of beer on the wall. Whoa, three bottles of beer on the wall. Three bottles Okay, of I am gonna check one more thing. I wanna see if they actually I'm just doing this because I'm curious. Five hundred eight bottles of beer on the wall. Oh, five hundred and eight bottles of beer on the wall. Five hundred and eight bottles of beer. You take one down, pass it around. Five hundred and seven bottles of beer on the wall. Oh, five hundred and seven bottles of beer on the wall. I really want to just you take one test down, this and see if he actually will read all wall. of them, counting down from five hundred and eight. I'm not going to do that on stream, but I am really curious if they voiced all of those. You take one down, pass it around. Three bottles of beer in the wall. Whoa, three bottles of beer in the wall. Three bottles of beer. You take one down, pass it around. Two bottles of beer in the wall. Oh, two bottles of beer in the wall. Two bottles of beer. You take one down. Five hundred eight. Oh, God damn it. Five hundred eight <laughs> bottles of beer in the wall. Oh, okay. wow. Wow. <laughs> I was not expecting the other dude to throw out a friggin' number well, at all. I'll see you salty dogs later. Okay. Uh, we need to go go talk to Swamp Lady again. Uh, probably. We know that she was that Largo was working with her, sort of. And I want to hear her side of the story. We're heading to the International House of Mojo. enough voodoo for me. Bye. So be it. Thanks. We, uh, absolutely 
stabbed the voodoo doll of Largo, and he is uh, he is no longer on the island. Turns out, uh, though, that Largo may be a woman. See, I have never seen One Piece or read One Piece, so I, I don't, I can't. I'll take your word for it. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Largo the Grand has left Scab Island for good. Well, well. I guess all those laxatives I was slipping into his drinks finally got to him. What? Don't worry, I don't put him in all the drinks. Grog, please. I don't need to see some God ID damn it. for that. I must have left my ID in my other pants. You'll have to do better than that. No ID, no service. It's better be like the best grog ever. Excuse me. I'm trying to work. No glass in the window. <clears throat> yeah. Largo the Grand will never bother you again. Yeah. I heard Marty stuck a bunch of pins in his underwear or something. He drove him right out of town. No, it was me. You? What were you doing with Largo's underwear? Um, well, no, never mind. I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. Nothing, huh? Okay. No thanks. That. I can't see a thing. All I want is my monocle. What is that? I can't see a thing. All I want is my monocle. Yeah, I kind of gave her monocle to somebody, dude. If I don't find it soon, I'm going to lose all the monocle grabbing muscles in my eye. Here, monocle. <laughs> Island. You made cards out of sand. Do I care? I've got a laundry type question. Shoot. Actually, nothing. I don't care about clean clothes. No, I don't have wheat loaves. I didn't think you would. I guess I'll be going now. guest.
I wondered if they were gonna do us uh, like a joke like they did with the shopkeeper where no matter you had to ring the bell to make him appear but did the ship yet hi Wally who's there I can't see anything without my monocle hey I did it Largo Legrand left scab. That's great. I guess I can stop with the bricks through his window now. Jesus Christ. Crud. What is that? I can't see a thing. All I want is my monocle. What is that? I can't see a thing. All I want is my monocle. Reminds me of a dollhouse I once had. I mean, my, um, sister once had. This stinks! I don't know what I'm missing now. It's all cans of fruit cocktail. I'm no cook. It's too soggy. It's a cold potato and leek soup. Um... Not quite yet, but thank you, and welcome to the stream. How is your evening going? Bonanza or myth. It says here there were four pirates. No. Rap Scallion, the cook. Young Lindy, the cabin boy. Mr. Rogers, the first mate. And Captain Marley. They buried their treasure along with plenty of booby traps on a place believed to be called Inky Island. They made a map which they divided into four pieces, each man taking one. Raph Scallion later opened the Steam and Weenie Hut on Scab Island. Which I can't get It was a huge into. success, but fell into disrepair after Raph was killed in a flash fire. Young Lindy drifted aimlessly, down on his luck until he mysteriously came into money while panhandling on Booty Island. He used the cash to bankroll an advertising firm which failed after its gross mishandling of a gangrene and honey account. Mr. Rogers retired off the coast of Fat Island. He marketed homemade contest grog brewed in a bathtub until his recent disappearance. Captain Marley vanished while sailing in the America's Cup race. His boat was leaving at the time. I have one piece of eight. I need more pieces of eight. Or two. 
Steam and weenies, 20 feet. Hmm, this door appears to be locked. Yeah. I don't think I should pin that. I don't think I should pin that. Wrap Scallion Steam and Weenie Hut. Place order here. take a I would take a nudge in the right direction Stan's Cozy Crypt, a place to spend eternity, not a fortune. I think Largo's out of voodoo range by now. Routes. No trespassing. The Quagmires. No trespassing. The Rickets. No trespassing.
I don't think I should pin that. No thanks. No thanks. No thanks. Sorry, I don't give refunds. Thanks. Don't need it. afford a new one. What is that? I can't see a thing. All I want is my monocle. There's something that I can give him that is similar to a monocle? For crying out loud. Fine. It's a pile of blank paper. It's too soggy. Something of the dead. Crud. I feel so bad for Wally because I gave his monocle away, but... This stinks! I'm really at a loss as to where to find... Help wanted. One week's salary in advance. Inquire below. Okay, help wanted. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? I saw your sign outside. What's the job? Oh, yeah. I really should take that thing down. I hired a new cook just this morning. But if things don't work out with him, I'll let you know. Nice place you have okay. here. Well, see ya. So a terrible accident needs to befall the cook. Hmm. I don't want to polish that. My scoutmaster would kill me if he saw me use a knife like that. I don't want to polish that. Excuse me. I said, leave me alone. It's too soggy. I don't want to polish that. I should pin that. That doesn't seem to work. My scoutmaster would kill me if he saw me use a knife like that. I think Largo's out of voodoo range by now. That doesn't seem to work. So I need to find something to put in there. Oh, the rat.
I'm gonna have to take these back for a moment. I'm gonna see if I can use the cheese curls with the Vichy Spa. That wouldn't taste very good. That's the idea. That doesn't seem to work. I'm trying to get rid of this, dude. The barkeep might see me. That doesn't seem to work. I hate fruit cocktail. Yeah, don't we all? Actually, anybody out there like fruit cocktail? Because... Even when I could eat it, I didn't like it. Well, hello, the Factory Ruins, and welcome to the stream. How's your night going? I'm basically pixel hunting at this point to find out what I need to proceed because I don't think I have it. Fruit cocktail, it's uh it's just canned fruit and corn syrup. It's got like uh pear and peach and uh occasionally a cherry. I think that's it. I think that's the only things it has in it. It's not it's not awful, like it's just, I didn't like it because it doesn't taste as good as, like, fresh fruit. That's the only thing I could do, but I couldn't seem to get the rat to actually, like, open box. S -s -s Cheese squiggles with box. Use stick with box. That doesn't seem to nice. Got it propped, and then he'll eat from it. But then, I try to walk over and snatch the stick, he moves away every time, and I don't know. There gotta be something I'm missing here. That doesn't seem to work. Nice. It's like I need a rope or something to attach to it so I can pull it from over here. My scoutmaster would kill me if he saw me use a knife like that. 
As long as it's cold, I would eat it. Prefer fresh, but yeah. Yeah, like, I, I, I've eaten it before. I wouldn't, uh, if it was between that or no fruit ever, well then, you know, once the, once, once fallout happens and once we're all in, like, a nuclear apocalypse, you know, I'll probably, probably chow down on some fruit cocktail. I would take a nudge in the right direction, like, I'm missing something and I don't know what it is. Yeah, I gathered that I'm missing an item. steal his bell. I feel bad enough setting his alligator free. I can't pick that up. I don't think there's... I can even interact with... Somewhere on the island? Appreciate it. Well, I'll see you salty dogs later. be the cemetery but I don't know where I'd look on this in the cemetery it looks murky international house of mojo Can I pick up the coffin I can't pick that up And it just changes to row two when we're here, so... Nope, nope, nope. Let's go take a look at the voodoo hut one more time and see if there's anything in there that I'm missing. Here's a real brain teaser for you. Since Uncharted 4 references Guybrush Threepwood, does that mean that the Uncharted games and the Monkey Island games take place in a shared universe? Eau de Mojo. The mystical aroma of voodoo captured in a delightful potpourri. It looks like bound editions of Voodoo Quarterly. <laughs> Enter my mind palace. They're unlabeled. Not the skull. The skull is bolted down. I don't think it's here. It must. It could be the cemetery, I guess. 
I don't think there's anything back at Captain Dread. Hank Plank. Does anybody recognize that name? He didn't have any money on him when he died, and somebody's got to pay for the funeral. Stan. <laughs> oh, Stan. God, that guy's an asshole. Here lies Nibbles the dog. He was a bad dog. We're glad he's dead. Uh, did you have you seen the uh, seen Uncharted, the Uncharted movie? The Ricketts. No trespassing. Quagmires, no trespassing. The Grouts, no trespassing. These spots reserved for our privileged future customers. The Grave of the Unknown Pirate. Thrifty Dig, for the treasure hunter on a budget. I can't dig that, Daddy. The Grave of the Unknown Cabin Boy. Grave of the unknown drunk guy we found face down in his own vomit on the beach. Nice! Marco Largo Legrand, hell on sea or sand. There once was a girl named Carrie who thought that she soon should marry. No man commanded Jean Louis. Not on land and not on water. John did whatever he did please until he kissed the gunner's daughter. Here lies daredevil Jim McDowell. Hand of steel, leg of wood, Jim took every risk he could. A life of action, that was Jim's. Too bad he ran out of limbs. I don't want any more gross bones. Maybe I can get... Maybe I'm maybe I'm Wally blocked here. Maybe I need to get the monocle back from Captain Dread and give it back to Wally. Cuz Wally doesn't seem to be able to do anything without it at all. The Uncharted movie was, it was okay. It's me again. So I see. What can I do for you this time, huh? I need to charter a ship. You're in luck, my friend. Rumor has it that Lago's been run off the island. So I'm now free to sail again. Only problem is... That you don't look like the type that has 20 pieces of eight. Yeah, you're right. I'm broke. Okay, so that's not it. There's something I can... It says, and I quote... Captain Dredd's ship charters. Twenty pieces of eight. Inquire within. Missing something. Or on the island.
Cemetery. I want to know where Stan is at, because he's clearly here. Warning! Quarantine tomb. Inhabitants died of green tongue fever. It looks like it's been sealed shut. But then again, why would I want to go in there? sealed shut. International House of Mojo. International House of Mojo. I pick up the sign. I can't pick that up. Well, let me pick up the swamp. I don't want to touch it with my hands. seem to open. It doesn't seem to open. It doesn't seem to open. I 
don't think I'm qualified to handle them. And anyway, they're gross. Like, I feel like there's just a rope or something that I find. Back again, Mr. Threepwood. About that voodoo doll? Yes, it worked pretty well, didn't it? I still have the touch. About that jar I was looking at? I can't make you any of that potion without some ash from the subject's remains. Well, that's enough voodoo for me. Bye. So be it. Creepy, but apparently seaworthy. My scoutmaster would kill me if he saw me use a knife like that. My scoutmaster would kill me if he saw me use a knife like that. This is really frustrating. Uh, you... My scoutmaster would kill me if he saw me use a knife like that. Yeah. I can't dig that, Daddy. Pump? I can't dig that, Daddy. Often path, but that's all I've got. So the universal hint system says I need string from Mojo's and I don't see the string. Mojo, or is there another? Display model. I can't move it. It does. 
doesn't seem to open. In that room, I even touched it. it. Looks like bound editions of Voodoo Quarterly. Golden Tongue. The five-day treatment plan that helps you talk to women. Oh, they're different. Tender touch named? pirate power. Oh, wow. Prevents stump chafing and eye patch rash. Spider lungs. Fruit cocktail in heavy syrup. Bat wax. They're unlabeled. to life. The uncremating cream. Cat dewormer. Wart remover. No thanks. I don't need it. After all, it's only a display model. They're unlabeled. It looks like bound editions of Voodoo Quarterly. Listen. Bottles are unlabeled. to handle them. And anyway, they're gross. No thanks. I don't need it. 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 Well, it appears to be bolted to the table. seaworthy. That doesn't seem to work. seem to open. It doesn't seem to open. I'm completely at a loss here as to what this is that I'm looking for.
And if I come over here, she just talks, and I don't get a chance to... Back again, Mr. Threefwood. Uh, about that jar I was looking at? I can't make you any of that potion without some ash from the subject's remains. Well, that's enough voodoo for me. Bye. So be it. Alright. Uh, I will take a straight up spoiler as to what I'm missing on this one. For fuck's sake. Well, just take a little. Alright. Tie the string to the stick. Got it. Okay. Sure. Like, it blends in really well. Even knowing what I was looking for, like, I didn't see it. It's just... It's one of the artifacts of the, the hand-drawn. Right? Yeah. Okay. get the rat out of the box now. Nice. That doesn't seem to work. I was afraid if I opened it, he'd just run out again. Good thing this is a cold suit. serve gourmet chilled soups For here. Fuck's sake. In fact, our new cook has been working all day on a very special Vichy Soise. Let me go see how he's doing. How's the Vichy Soise, Bernard? Excellent, sir. Won't you have a taste? Uh, I think I will. Oh my god! What kind of demented recipe book are you using? <laughs> Sir. Ow! Get out of my sight! Hold on. This is the most disgusting 
filthy mess I've ever seen in my life. I like how he's walking oh, out with his hands hair. up like he's a surgeon. And what's this stuff? How am I ever gonna get rid of this junk? Well, here's your soap. Uh, I'm really not that hungry anymore. Dang. Hey, can you cook? A little. How'd you like a career in the fast-paced world of pub food cuisine? Are you saying there's an opening in the kitchen? Yeah, you interested? Sure, I'll give it a shot. Great, the job is yours. Here's a week's worth of wages. Now go strap on that apron and get to work. Okie dokie. How much wages are we talking? 421 pieces of eight. Later, sucker. That's a really well-paid chef. It's me again. So I see. What can I do for you this time, on? I need to charter a ship. You're in luck, my friend. Rumor has it that Lago's been run off the island. So I'm now free to sail again. Only problem is, the Jew don't look like the type that has 20 pieces of eight. Actually, I do have that much. Well, man, consider me ship chartered. Great. Where's your ship? You're standing in it, man. Yikes. <laughs> Four map pieces. Deep in the Caribbean, hidden by an endless storm, lies Lechuck's Fortress. So, when are we gonna resurrect the old bloated fool? Thanks. Ooh. Oh my lord. I'll ignore that comment just this one time, Largo. Only because they tell me you found Guybrush Threakwood. It's three. Wood, and I found him on Scab Island. Very good. No one gets the upper hand on the Chuck without getting what he deserves. I want Guybrush brought to me, and I want him brought alive. I am entrusting this to you. Do not fail me. Never, your voodoo lordship. Aye. Guybrush Threepwood is finished. I need you to start building me a very special doll. With pleasure. I'm off to find Big One. It has a picture of a parrot on the front. Got parrot chow now. Welcome to the Jolly Rasta. Where do you want to go? I don't know. What are my choices? I only know how to get to Tree Islands, man. What are they? There's where we just came from, Scab Island. The only island where pirates are free to be pirates. Then there's Booty, Booty Island. Island. The festive French Mardi Gras party all the time, <laughs> Island. It's run by one of the most respected and loved governors around. Elaine. Governor Elaine. Of Mardi. course. Elaine? And last, there is Fat Island. 
a fascist dictatorship run by an over-bloated pig named Governor Fat. Here, take this easy-to-read reference map, courtesy of Dread Tools. You can use it to show me where you want to go. Oh, neat. No memento? Actually, I think we are going to go to Booty Island and then we are going to save. And we're probably going to stop there for the. I have to get up in the morning. That is the longest route. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, we are now uh, on to part two. Good. Thank you very much for the help, the factory runes. If you're out there and you're watching and you enjoyed the stream, please think about giving a follow. It does help us out. Other than that, I will be back tomorrow night with more Monkey Island for sure. Friday night is going to be Strive. Um, so hope to see you then. Thanks for watching. <laughs>